Welcome back to Patman Garage. Um, I got a uh, another day project here. Um, so if you're like me, you've got one of these old jump and carries sitting around, and they're heavy, and they're probably seen better days because they're you know ten plus years old. Um, one of these I replaced the battery. I have two of them. One of them I replaced the battery. 2017 maybe and then the other one was the original battery from like 2014 or something like that um maybe even older than that i don't 2012 who knows um <laughs> so i bought some lithium batteries from amazon so we're going to take these apart swap out the lithium batteries make these things significantly lighter and my other thought while i have this open is see if i can get in here and squeeze two of these lithium batteries into one case and make a super impressive super powerful jump box so we'll get into the details a little bit and uh, we'll tear into these and see what we look like and also day viewing my brand new camera angle for my workbench um, just my little GoPro sitting on the uh, on the shelf here on a piece of metal on a piece of magnet so our magnet mount so we'll have top-down view of my work process here And there are also two screw holes, or th sorry, three screw holes underneath the cables as well. We'll just peel these back and set them off to the side. Gonna force all the screws out so I don't so I don't lose any here. Alright, so this guy was replaced back in this is the newer of the two batteries. This one I think was 2017, if I recall. Um, so basically you just got two bolts that hold this guy in here. And then it just sits, and there's, I think there's like a little piece of adhesive on the back side. Uh, so we're going to get the Amazon box opened up. That is, <laughs> that is a featherweight compared to this guy. So... A little bit thinner. Um, looks like we don't have this exact same top mounts, but we should still be able to make this work. Um, I don't think I'm going to get two of these in here. They're quite a bit, not quite as much space as I imagined I had in here. But these are still significantly more powerful than these are. Um, all right, diving back in here. So these are eight millimeters that are on my. Uh, battery terminals here. For now I'm just going to stick that nut back on there just so I don't lose some of those little washers. And negative side torn down real quick. So, like I said, I think this battery was replaced somewhere in 2017 or so. Uh, maybe a little bit earlier than that. So I think they just stick on here with some adhesive. So, actually, these batteries are basically the same footprint. Here. Um... I don't think we're going to get two of them in here at the same time, even if I cut the case. I don't think I can squeeze two of them in here. So 
we are going to abandon that idea and just keep moving forward. stuff we should be able to get rid of now assuming that we have enough room on that bolt to get all the all these cables on it So I would like to take some pliers and just do a little bit of a bend here on that terminal and that'll just make this cable route a little nicer um, where we're not stressing on the strands as much. That looks so much better. It doesn't take a whole lot. We just want to give it a little bit of a direction change there. All right, so that's the... Uh, extent of swapping the battery pretty pretty easy um i'm gonna get the cover put back on it actually i guess i'll go ahead and make sure it works real quick but um we'll plug this thing in make sure it's charging battery shows we're charging ahead of time we're at just under 12 volts Let's let this thing charge up. See what we look like after that. Yeah, it took a little bit to get those those uh, tabs to line up inside. Get some screws put back in this guy. That thing is significantly lighter, so I'm going to grab a scale just to see how, how much weight difference we have here. Well, that's quite impressive. So the old one, uh, the old jump box with the uh, AGM battery is 19.6 pounds, and the new one with the lithium battery is 11 pounds, so nearly a 9 pound savings, which is almost... 50% savings of weight, which is just bonkers. That's crazy how much that 
that saved out of the, the weight of this thing. And like I said, I, I mean, even just, just barely holding it up versus this guy, which takes quite a bit more. <laughs> so yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with that. So we'll get this thing charged up and see how she performs. Now, one thing I am unsure about the, Literature for the for the new battery said that there's smart charging involved. Um, this thing always had the um, the charging complete icon, and I think there's some sort of smart logic built into this jump box as well. I've never been a fan of leaving a battery charging when I'm not nearby, just in case something happens. So even with the new battery, even with possibly now double smart charging. I'm still only going to charge it when I'm when I'm supervising it, um, and that's just good practice, just to make sure something doesn't burn down the shop for something stupid. So dug into the second jump box to do the second battery, and there's my original born on date for this battery. It was December 2011, so it is 11, 12, 11 years old now. Coming up on 12 years old. It's crazy. Well, that went a lot smoother than I expected it to go. Um, granted, we didn't have the opportunity to squeeze two batteries in there. Uh, maybe if I ordered two different sizes or a different size than an actual replacement battery, I maybe could have, but whatever, no big deal. Um, overall, it's a quick battery swap and uh, that's it. So I appreciate y'all watching a video of mine and I will catch you on the next one.